everyone so in this lecture i'll be talking about the packet sniffing using arrow dump ng so previously we talked about how we can uh, have our setup like a wi-fi card and monitor on monitor mode now we will sniff all the packets that are within our wi-fi range even though they are not directed to our device and even without connecting to any network uh, even without knowing the password or the username of the network so what tool we are going to use so we are going to use a tool called aerotump ng and it is a part of the aircraft unit so it's a pa packet sniffer which allows us to capture all the packets around us so we can run it against all the network that are around us so we'll collect any packets that are within our wi-fi range or we can just run it against a certain IP or access point then we will be able to connect, uh, collect the packets that are coming from a certain Wi-Fi network so we will describe how this works first what you have to do is uh, you have to you need your Wi-Fi card in monitor mode so uh, because I already have my Wi-Fi card on my monitor mode then it will ju you will just run a simple command which is this one arrow dump ng and mon o so it is just a simple code and after typing this code uh, the name of the wifi card that has been enabled on it will be monitored as you can see it's starting to list all the network that are around us so another use of uh, arrow dump ng is to identify all the network around us and to identify all the connected devices to these networks and i'm just gonna the if you just it will continue to run so you will you have to stop it so how can you stop you just press ctrl c on your linux machine and it will stop this uh, from running now i will take a quick look now all all the facts that we we are sniffed now we didn't save them anywhere so there was really no point to analyze in the packet because we are just run it against all the access point around us to see what networks are that are around and what are uh, what and how they are gathering information about these networks so you can see that there is a quite a good uh, bit of information around me and the bss id is the mac address for this access point so so these are the mac address of this point ess id column is the power of the pi column is the power in the power so it's uh, it's how far the access point from our wi-fi card so you can see the test ip this is so you can see bss id you can see power you can see beacon data and cheaper authorization and ess id all of this in here so Uh, there is a test router that we are running because as you can see this is the test router so it's very close to me and it's uh, like minus 34 as you can see so you can see you can go down on the network that are further and further away from me so the closest the network the easiest for you to save the sniff and packet and because obviously you are closer and the packets are that can be collected easier also all the attacks that you are gonna explain uh, we are gonna explain in the future the closer the network to you the more effective the network and the attack uh, will be and it will be also quicker so you will gain your access and hcp your goal goal beacon so beacon is the signal So uh, because uh, 
the network that I am here. I have my BSS ID to be like this and I am running on this information. So this is the number of backgrounds and that each exist point is sending the data in the number of useful point that we have sniff and we will talk about this later when we start talking about web decrypting and web encryption. So we will just leave this for now and uh, is the number of packet that we have collected in the past 10 seconds. So as you can see we have uh, 0 in here. So 0 data packet in uh, in past uh, 10 second channel is the number of channel that the access point is broadcasting on. So each access point broadcast on a certain channel and this is used to because there is no interface between access point and the and there are also besides uh, each other. So say for example, I have an exam I have an access point and so here 20 beacon like 5 meters away from me so there is another access point so if both of them are running on the same channel and there will be interface between these two access point and the signal between them will be shorter. So the range of this access point will be shorter. So with different channels so that there is no interface between the packets and that send that are sent in the ear. So MB this is is the maximum speed support by the access point. So it can go up like 54E is the encryption that used and the access point. So we see the encryption here as ENC. So here is WEP, WPA2, as you can see WEP, WPA2 and uh, you can see here is OAB again. So we have WPA here and WEB also in here. So it is an open network and you will see an open when, when uh, uh, encryption chiffer is, uh, uh, is uh, decided for that. So choose to decrypt the packet. So for WIP it is uh, web and for WPA2 it can be CCMP as you can see for web it is web and for WPT it will be CCMP. And it could be also TKIP as well as you can see from WPA it can be also TKIP. So we will talk about this later when we get into the WPA cracking then of the type of authentication that requires the access point. So we have uh, pretty much all uh, PSK shared key. So we have MGT as you can see for this we have MGT. And we will talk about this later as well when I go to WPA cracking. So now we will talk about how to target those packet sniffing uh, using Arrowdump ng. So previously we saw how to use uh, Arrowdump ng, ng to see all the network that are within our Wi-Fi range and collect the information about those network such as BSS ID and the channel and the distance between us and the access point, the encryption that I use it in and so on so on. And now we will, what we will do is we will see eventually and we will see a certain network that we want to target or number of network that we want to target. So once we have our target uh, selected, uh, it's more useful to run Aerodump ng uh, on that network. So instead of running it with all the network around us, I, in this uh, lecture we will talk about how to use that to uh, sniff a specific uh, network. So, so what you have to do now is you have to type this uh, code in the uh, terminal so that as you can see 
I am going to target this machine. So that's my home network and that's uh, and I am going to start sniffing on that network uh, instead of sniffing all the network that are around me. So we are doing going to use the same program to use this. So first what you have to do is you have to use a code arrow dump ng and then we are going to specific the channel. So specific the BSS ID as you can see and the MAC address and the target network and the write test. So write option this child's arrow to uh, dump engine in the log and then all the packets will be captured in this file and name so I am going to call it so test etp this is the file name and then we put the name of our Wi-Fi card which is mon0 so same as the program that we used before so we put the channel of the target that access the point and bss id that will put the mac address of the target access point so we put the file name that we want all those packets to get started and we want to have one zero and the name of wi-fi card and monitor mode so if you just press type this and press enter you will see something like this as you can see the only network that shows up in here is this one so we don't have any other network with us so which can have a look in this section so in the previous lecture we had too many uh, networks that uh, we had connected around me now we had only one section in arrow dump engine the section was missing here in the second section in here because previously only saw this part but in here it is only one but previously we saw many of them as you can see many of them so the first section as we saw that contain uh, all the access point that are within our wi-fi range and this section in here the second section contains all the client that are associated with the access point in here so this is not the network this is a client so it's connected to the network so we know that because we have the bss id so does the mac address of the network that is uh, client to connected so to mac address connected to the mac address here which is the same as the mac address so that means that client is connected to the network now uh, this is the station is the mac address of the client so this is the mac address of the device that is connected to the network power as you can see this is connected to the network power and the distance between us uh, and the device rate is maximum speed and the device is running on so last the number of packets uh, that we lost yeah, we lost uh, including capture from the target device so the frames of the numbers uh, uh, you or numbers of useful packets so we collected from that device uh, the, that will talk into to, uh, into the may this uh, network so uh, we'll talk more about the frames and data uh, in future so as i said when i, when I start talking about web cracking uh, so we just have to show you now the two main parts 
so the first uh, mini part of this access point that are within our uh, Wi-Fi range. The second part of this arrow dump. Then second, which which is the client that are associated. So with this access point, we have the MAC address. Yeah, that are of the access point and the market address uh, that are actual client in here. So if you just this will continue running you. you so this will continue running so what you have to do you have to cancel this uh, by control c so when you cancel this this will save all of this and this will save the log into a file and named as test uh, upc so what you, what you can do is you can list all of those test upc as you can see this is the all file that saved that uh, arrow down created so so what you can see that uh, there are lots of file 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 file so there is a file that has a different extension like a couple of them has cap csv csv and one of them has Kismat doll net XML. So, so if you go to your home directory where you save this, uh, where you save this uh, test file, you will see all of those files in your directory. So, uh, what you can do now is uh, you can uh, after that. Uh, you can uh, see where those router are so we can sniff those packets and we can use a program such as as you all remember wireshark we can use wireshark to analyze those pockets and see the information that we gather in here the problem is that the net specific uh, network is that wpa encryption so all the packets that are encrypted are in here and we want to be able to decrypt them unless we have the key so we'll talk about in the future how we collect the key in the future lectures so uh, if you want to test those uh, file on a track you can do that but they will not show you uh, many information of those files because they are wpa connected so that's how you uh, use a specific or targeted uh, pack to, to sniff uh, using arrow dump command, arrow dump ng.